Hi, what's up everyone? Welcome to Technolinux once again. Today we are going to show you a video review how to install the new Samsung TouchWiz UX from the new Samsung Galaxy S4 on your HTC One X or any rooted Android device by just installing installing two zip folders, two zip files from your custom recovery. So let's get started. Uh, to go into the uh, bootloader mode you need to hit the power button of your phone and the volume down button of your phone simultaneously so I'm doing it right now no matter if you end up shooting a screenshot keep the holding button keep the buttons holding so here we are into the edge boot screen You can see the uh, second option is recovery so choose a recovery and hit the power button so I'm hitting the power button and here we go into CWM recovery this recovery might be CWM or it can also be TWRP it doesn't matter which one you are using so if before installing any of the zip files you need to do two procedures which are very common the first one is wipe catch partition and the second one is wipe dalvik catch so we are going to do, this, do the same right now so first you can see the fourth option is wipe catch partition I'm choosing it and then yes wipe catch so it's done now choose advanced option that is the last option and the second option that is wipe dalvik catch and select yes dalvik catch so we have wiped off the dalvik catch and uh, catch so choose the last option that is go back and hit the power button now we are into the home, uh, home of CWM recovery now you need to install the zip files so I'm choosing install zip from SD card which is the second option available here and then choose zip from SD card which is the first option okay so now you need to choose the files I've I've set my files into a folder which is uh, named as S4 widget and new launcher you can uh, install it directly from the root of your uh, file manager it doesn't matter whether it is in a folder or not see you can see the folder it is named as S4 launcher and widget new so I'm choosing it and there are two files which I'll be providing you in the link description below you first you need to install the s4 launcher you do not need to install the widget first so hit the power button and then choose install s4 launcher xhdip this is a this is a xhdip version of the launcher so you need you can install only on phones which have this resolution like the galaxy s3 or uh, htc one x or any other phone which is 4.7 to 4.8 inches uh, has a 4.7 to 4.8 inch screen so here you can see install from sd card complete now you need to install the second file that is s4 widget so now again i'm choosing choose zip from sd card and then I'm moving into my folder so here I am and then I'm choosing the first option that is S4 launcher uh, S4 weather widget and hit the power button and then choose yes install galaxy S4 widget so it's installing so here you can see install from SD card complete that means you have completed with the installation procedure now again you need to wipe the catch and Dalvik catch which is the same what we have done before so wipe catch yes choose advanced wipe Dalvik catch and wipe catch so it's done now you need to uh, reboot the phone choose go back and then hit reboot system now so it may take some time to reboot the phone after rebooting you can see the logo and then the logo and then the animation boot animation of 
what ROM you are using. Doesn't require custom uh, uh, CM10, but it can run on any of the ROMs available like Sentinel or EOKP, or it may be Viper, Venom Viper, etc. Before the phone reboots completely, it will uh, update the Android system and optimize the apps, which is which is uh, which it is doing right now. You can see optimizing app. It may take some fraction of time, so please be patient. almost halfway it depends on the number of apps you have installed on your phone if the number of apps is less you can uh, upgrade the system very quickly and if you have more apps then you need to wait So it's 120 out of 152, it will take some more time. It's almost done, just two apps remaining and yes it's starting. So uh, now we have rebooted our phone. So now I'm unlocking. So now you can see um, uh, you can uh, choose the home button. Uh, I'm using the Nova launcher as my default launcher, so I need to uh, change the default home launcher. So you can see the list of uh, homes homes that I have. Um, so I'm choosing TouchWiz Launcher. I'm using TouchWiz Home. I'm using it just for once. And then yes, it's loading. So the beautiful TouchWiz UX Launcher from S Galaxy S4 is right in front of us. So the home screens, the traditional S4 uh, TouchWiz home screens and the transition carousel. And even it provides you with um, uh, unlimited home scrolling you can have a look at the drawer so it's the same the same transition effects it's, it has infinite scrolling and then you have the widgets option let it yeah so here it is once the launcher reboots completely you can uh, feel the smoothness and you can feel the uh, uh, you can feel the original touch -wiz on your phone it's loading so you can see some lag on the launcher but it will not have that lag once you uh, once the launcher loads completely and then these are the downloaded apps and yes um, there are some tweaks and some settings available on this launcher like create folder or um, I can edit I can add all the I can add some of the icons on the folder and you can see the folder so this is what we get after installing the new touchwiz launcher from Galaxy S4 thanks for watching our video we'll be providing you more information and more apps in the previous video give give us a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe our channel thanks for watching this video meet you in the meet you next time